Hey, you. this is Nev Lapwood from Snowboard Addiction. We just made a quick video showing you how to wax a snowboard and why I wax. That's done. Now I'm going to make a quick video showing you how to buff and scrape a board. So if you come and look at the board right now, you'll see that um, you can still see all that fresh wax that's on it. I've let the board sit for, you know, an hour since we waxed it, but usually I leave it overnight um, just to, to let all the wax kind of melt in and harden in the board. But it's, it's fair enough to scrape it off right now. What we're doing when we're scraping is we're scraping all the excess wax off the board. We're making it into a really smooth surface that slides really well with the snow and reduces the friction between you putting the board in the snow. So a nice smooth running snowball. So grab my board. I am going to put it on the edge of my truck here. And uh, I'm actually going to grab an old pair of snowboard pants that I have, which is just uh, an old garage pair. And I put it under the board there just to protect the edge of the board. And what you'll see is uh, this here is a scraper. The brand of it is called Toco. It's basically a piece of black, or oh, a piece of hard perspex uh, plastic here that uh, we use to scrape the board. So if you come on in, what I'm doing is I'm holding the edges of my board with my legs so that I can get a nice grip on the snowboard. And I am scraping off all the excess wax that I can to make a smooth surface on the board. So if you get nice and close here, you're going to see that I've got most of the excess wax off here on half of the board. And now I'm going to flip that around and do the other half. I actually have been scraping this for a couple of minutes. So the scraping of the board is probably the most intense action of the whole waxing tuning um, of your board because it takes, you know, five minutes or so to scrape it. The, hard, the, the longer it's been left out in the cold, the harder the wax gets. So because it's um, evening now, or it's starting to get later in the evening and it's kind of dropped in temperature a little bit out here, the wax has gotten harder which makes it that little bit more difficult to scrape. So if you see this part here, you can kind of see it almost looks a little bit bumpy. That needs a little bit more scraping. Whenever you kind of see that, you haven't got all the excess wax off. So if you watch this, I'll get in there and I'm really applying a little bit of pressure on that sec section. And you'll see now how it kind of took out all that extra bumpy stuff. So I got that section of the board. How I did that is I almost flexed the scraper a little bit just so I could focus on that area a little bit more. Okay, so I finished scraping my board. Probably took me five or six minutes to scrape it up nicely. Um, I'm a regular rider. So this is the nose of my board. That's the tail. And after you have scraped your board, we're gonna buff the board. So this here is a Scotch-Brite pad which is one of those little pads that you use to uh, wash dishes with. Um, you can get nice flash buffing tools, um, but for the purpose of my riding, I'm um, you know, a park rider, I just like a nicely waxed board. This does the job fine. And these cost like 50 cents to buy. So if you come in nice and close, you'll see what I'm doing now, is I am buffing my snowboard. You see how it, it really brings it out nice. Now I'm actually applying pressure from the nose to the tail of my board. Nose to the tail, and I'm buffing in that direction because that's the direction I ride mostly. That's what all people who are racing snowboards or skis would tell you. To buff in the direction that you ride. And if you look real close, you'll start to see almost like this white powder. That's actually little bits of wax that I'm buffing out of the board to uh, to give it this really nice riding surface. So if you have a look at this now, come in and see the board. I've only done half of it, but you've got a nice, clean, waxed, scraped, and buffed board. Now bear in mind, I've rode a bunch of days on this board, so it's not a new board. I've just put it to a pretty 
new condition. Um, you know, a really nice riding condition that's going to ride really well. Now, I've got a secret I want to show you for bumping. This is a normal person's way of bumping. I got a way that I started doing recently that uh, makes it way quicker and easier. And this is what they do in a snowboard shop. So this is a drill. It's just a standard drill like, that any person who does any kind of contracting has. And this is a handle and a wax buffer that I bought online. It's a Toco one, which is a brand of wax. This makes buffing super easy and quick. So watch this. This is exact same as what I was just doing by hand, but you can do it with a machine. Not everyone has this, but if you do have it, it's pretty cool. So check it out. Have a look down here with the camera. See all that? That's all little bits of wax that I'm buffing out with this machine, which is way easier than by doing it by hand. It is smooth and clean and ready to ride. And you'll see down here that, that all that kind of white gray stuff, that's all just little bits of wax that I've buffed out with this machine. So this is the fancy way of doing it. If you have a drill, you want to buy this handle, you want to buy this buffer, super cool way of waxing, way less effort. And um, you don't even have to scrape your board as well because this is quite, quite, um, what do you call it? Tough bristles. So you don't even have to scrape your board as well because it does a little bit of the job for you. That's how I tune my board. And, um, that's pretty good for the vast majority of, of snowboarders who just like to ride and have fun. I do that every five to seven days of riding. This is Neil Blackwood from Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your riding.